This video is on the Renaissance Energy's import guide for E Squared Studio. The purpose of this presentation is to help you import an existing Renaissance Energy project, such as an example application, into E Squared Studio. The objectives of this presentation are to generate the project files, build the application, and run the application on the target board. Before you perform this procedure in the presentation, you should follow the procedure in your board's quick start guide to build and run the Blinky project. By doing so, you will become familiar with E Squared Studio and ensure that the debug connection on your board is functioning properly. The procedure applies to all Renaissance Energy devices and development boards. To perform this procedure, you will need a PC running on Microsoft Windows 7 or 10 with the following Renaissance software installed. You'll need E Squared Studio version 5.x and above, Synergy Software Package SSP 1.1 or above. You can download the required Renaissance software from the Renaissance Synergy Gallery. The link is on the screen. So let's take a look at the demo. Assuming that you have properly installed E Squared Studio, and follow the procedure for the Blinky project listed in the Quick Start Guide. Let's go ahead and start the E Squared Studio. Identify your workspace. Make sure that the configuration perspective is identified. Under File, Go to Import. Remember to select Existing Projects into Workspace. Browse and find your project. This will be a zipped file. Once we have imported it, you will see that it is selected under Projects and the Finish button is dark indicating it will most likely import, as opposed to being grayed out where there may be a problem. Once we have it imported, we then go to the Configuration XML. Double click on Con Configuration XML. Generate the project. We then come over to the hammer button, which is the build button. Notice that we have zero errors and zero warnings. We then go to the debug button and we want to ensure that we have the ELF file identified. So we go down to the project name and here's our ELF. Press debug. Once again it's going to ask us if we want to change to the debug perspective which is okay. And if you recall, it will stop at two breakpoints. The first breakpoint is directly following the reset handler. We press the resume button. And the second breakpoint is after main. Press resume again. Then in the bottom left hand side, we see that the project is running. You'll recall from our purpose and objectives that the objective of this presentation was to import an existing project into E Squared Studio, generate the project files, build the application, and run the application on the target board. This concludes this presentation. Thank you for watching.